Hello everyone, this is I, Mr. Kafuffles, and welcome to another interesting game. Now, you've all heard of the game Bellatro. How about Bingle Bingle? <laughs> now, <laughs> I know it sounds weird. It, it looks weird, it sounds weird, but instead of dealing with playing poker, you're playing roulette. And the moment I saw this game, I'm like, this, this oddly really looks a lot like Bellatro in a way. <coughs> well, let's see, select the ball side of the token to spin the wheel. One. Nice. Your score will be displayed here. Your score each time you will score each time you roll a ball. The score is calculated by points times chips placed. If this is the target score for this round, if you reach the target score, the round will be cleared and you will be able to move on to the next round. <laughs> Select the bet side of the token to place chips. If the ball goes into the pocket with chips, you will get a higher score. So... Ah, sorry about that. So... If I were to get any of these, it will also go along with how much chips I get. Okay. That's interesting. Each pocket has 10 chips placed by default. Select a... Select a color to place 20 chips. Um, bet it on red. Now 20 chips are added to that selected color, meaning you will get a higher chance score, or a higher score when the ball goes into the pockets of that color. The bets placed in each round is shown here. Chips placed by bets last until the end of the round, so you can score multiple times with those chips for that round. Roll another ball. <clears throat> oh, there we go. <coughs> Round cleared. Nice. Honestly, I really quite enjoy that. It, it actually gives a, more of a different kind of challenge compared to Bellatro. But even then, this is roulette. So it's more of a chance. Anyways, after each round, you get some coin and visit the shop. Coins can be spent to upgrade your tokens and the wheel. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> Buy one of the balls with a special ability. Multiple pockets. Multiple balls. Give me the multiple balls. Give me that shit. Select a token to apply a new ball. Tokens will be drawn in random in order, or in random order in round. Uh, that one. You can also upgrade the level of tokens, or upgrade the level of tokens to increase a token's base points and chip, or chips. After you are done with shopping, click this button to move on to the next round. Yeah, this really seems like so simple. Since the chips placed last last until the end of the round, it's usually better to place bets first. Yes, it does. Let's go black this time. <clears throat> the discard button allows you to discard tokens and draw new ones. Ooh! Now you can test your new ball. Seven base points. <clears throat> Bro, we got two. <laughs> Both of them on 22. What the hell? Nice. That's... Wow! <laughs> okay, now that's pretty cool. That is cool. I love it. You can upgrade your wheel by po buying new pockets. Okay. Choose a pocket on the wheel, and let's get rid of one. You can buy... Or you can upgrade your ball's ability by buying this. Okay. Oh, oh okay. <clears throat> Multi-ball plus one. 
Ah, uh, crap, I should have read that. Oh, I get three balls. I only rolled two last time. Okay, that's pretty cool. Remember, all coins disappear when you leave the shop, so you cannot save coins for the next round. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, that that's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> when tokens run out before you reach the target score, you will lose the game. Uh, let's, let's bet on black. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's go black or red again. Oh, yes, that's good. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. There are items available for you to buy in the shop. The items assist your gameplay with their own abilities. The first bet of each round have four, plus 40 base chips. With no discard, er, when no discards is left, plus 20 points. I'd rather take the Pioneer. <clears throat> there are many items to find. With those items, you can create many special builds. If none of the options appeal to you, however, you can always re-roll the shop with one coin. And if you don't have enough coins to buy the items you want, you can lock the shop to purchase it in the next shop or, ne or in the shop next round. That's very helpful. That's quite helpful, not gonna lie. Going red. Let's do it. <coughs> Bruh. And... Mm-hmm. Let's go. Reds again. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit! <laughs> Freeze six pockets. Copy a token from your deck. You can play one more token per round, but minus one coin each round. Or every round. I'd rather take the token cloner. This one. 11 coin, very nice. Each shop will have discounted items that will be cheaper than usual, but they cannot be locked or re-rolled, so if you want them, you have to buy them at the shop. If you don't have enough coin to buy the item you want, you can take out a loan and pay it back later. You can take a loan of up to three coins, but you will have to pay back two coins per one coin you loaned. <clears throat> when a ball lands in a pocket, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, or 31, plus 75 chips. So... Red. Gimme. Give Gimme give that shit. Gain eight points for each different ball in, de in the deck. Ooh, sweet baby. Oh, give me that. Give her that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Boss. Boss will appear every four rounds. And it seems we have five bosses. So, eight deer, lion, boar, and eagle. Hover over the target score to see the stage's boss ability. 
boss will appear at the final round of this stage. Some of them can be deadly to your build, so prepare yourself. After bet place, same type of bet can only place 30% of chips. Shit. Let's go black. And red. <clears throat> 22. That's a 10. Multi ball. Oh, that got me the win. Boss beaten. Okay, upgrade. Upgrade the ability of the ball. Echo beat. Change the bet's ability to Echo beat. Echo. At the start of the next round, add the normal version of the same bet with different value. Bet. Bet on four numbers and a square. Um, okay. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's upgrade you, you, and... Line. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, you're the line. Oh. 36. That was a 30 th 34. Hmm. Okay, now this one's got to win. 21. Boom. Okay, upgrade. When round tokens run out, revive with three additional... Uh, tokens works only once. Upgrades the ability of the bet. Um, nope. <clears throat> I will upgrade those two chips. And I need five tokens now in order to be able to do a thing. Or, well, to upgrade them further. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yes. Multi ball. <clears throat> mm hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Let's discard. I need a multi ball in this one. Badly, I need a multi ball. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, thank you. Let's upgrade those two balls. Uh, <sighs> Roll a ball that increases its base point. Uh, 
Oh, keen eye. After placed bet, same type of bet, only plays 30% of chips. <clears throat> oh, damn. I'm almost done. What the fuck? Multi ball again. Let's go. That's that's a win. That's a win. Um, gain four coins every round. That sounds good. Remove one token from the deck. Uh. I'm gonna need that money dispenser badly. I need it badly. When multi ball is rolled, if there is another multi ball landed in the same pocket, earn 300% score. Ooh! Attached token is always drawn last. If in each shuffle, the token is worth 1.5. Oh my god. Oh, that is needed. Oh, boy. <clears throat> yes. And let's upgrade a normal to a normal ball. Oh, sweet mercy. Mm. That's good stuff. And that. Oh. Multi ball. Oh my god, that would have been so perfect if I got that token. Oh, if I had that perk, I would have gotten it. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why did I do this to myself? Oh, man. Wait, I... I need 10k? Um... 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 Yep. Archer class. Bullseye. Knows where to find the final shot lands. Uh, Archer, please. Um, first token becomes level two token. This costs, or this token costs plus one coin to be upgraded. Gain a unique item, get 20% less score for the first three rounds. I'll take the random box. Wave ball. Also increases chips of bet it won permanent permanently. Okay, that's not good. Roll a ball, freeze in your buy pockets with no bet. Wave ball. I I need that wave ball. <clears throat> and that multi ball again because I want it. And I know I'm gonna be costing myself forty freaking chips. Or four chips, not forty. What am I even talking about? Ooh. 
upgrade the wave ball. Heart ball, roll a ball. If the ball didn't win any bet, instead of scoring a... Instead of scoring, gain a round token back. Fragile after a few use. Oh, no. Destroyed tokens cannot be drawn again in that round. Okay, so it's permanent, but it will not be usable after a few uses. Roll a ball, the next ball will go into the same pocket. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Wave ball. Yep. Oh, crap. Yeah, that just screwed me over. I can't take it off, can I? Discarding changes it. Unused round tokens. Gain one token or one coin per every round token left at the end. Okay. Reach at least first boss to get different bonus choices. Five rerolls are free at the shop. Okay. Now let's bet on black. Well, there we go. Roll a high value ball. 90 chips. Decrease it by 15 per round of or per, the count of numbers removed from the wheel. As long as I don't get rid of anything, uh, if pocket is frozen, ball will not go into that pocket. Give me the super ball and upgrade it. Yes. Now red. Super ball. And it gives me the red. <laughs> okay, now that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Upgrade the ability of the ball. Yes. And get me another one. Thank you. Thank you. Now black. And uh, Super Bowl. Let's go. Again. Before rolling, select the range of pockets where the ball will land. Ooh. Let me actually upgrade instead. Cold wind. Breeze three random pockets after choosing token. Thank you. I still got the red. Fuck you. One token used. Get shit on. <laughs> Gain three more discards per round. Uh, quest. Clear four rounds with only spinning the wheel once. Four rounds, at least 
four times. Accumulate 35 unused coins. Seven chips per, per unused coin. Coins from class ability is doubled. I want to do relay race. If the ball didn't win any bet, next ball gets 30 plus points. If less than three gold left after shop, decrease it by six permanently. Okay. Super Bowl. Twenty seven. Super Bowl. And it's in twelve. When the ball lands in a pocket of 6 or 28, gain 150% more score. When a ball lands in containing 7, gain 1 coin. Yes, special bet unlocked. From now on, special bets appear in the shop. Bruh. The foot. Okay. Okay, I'll have no problem with that. Three. Got it. Uh, bet on four numbers in a square. No. I don't want to take those bets. Discard, Super Bowl, let's go. <clears throat> Boom. And that's another round clear round clear. Felix seven. Mirror's bet changes the bet's ability to mirror. Increase the chips on one area significantly, decrease on the other. Which area will be increased, decreased is randomly selected. I'm sorry, what? I, I'm sorry, what do you mean by that exactly? That... I'm sorry, I, I, I'm i trying to understand what that one's supposed to mean, but I do not understand it. Like, which area will be increased slash decreased is randomly selected, but increases the chips on one area significantly, but decreases on the other? You're going to need to be more, more specific with that, exactly. I, I, I'm trying to understand this one. If someone can understand what the mirror bet is supposed to, play, supposed to be, please do let me know down in the comments below. I, I'm trying to understand this one. 
Strong Claw from the second bet. Bet will only have 50% chips. Okay. Fifteen. Let's go. Thirty-five. Let's go. I need that win. <clears throat> uh, Soaking cloner. Clone that Super Bowl. Super Bowl. No, I need my amazing Super Bowl. Yes! I need my amazing Super Bowl. Mm. Ice. When you add or win the bet, freeze nearby pockets, excluding pockets, affected by this bet. Roll a ball that can change the pocket. It lands in fragile after a few, few uses. Shit. Nope. Yep. Fuck. I love you. Never mind, I screwed myself over. Let's try one more time. I I always need to have it? First token become level two token. Cost plus one token to be upgraded. I'll take rush this time. I want to do one more run. <clears throat> okay. Nice, nice. This time I want a large ball. Change. One moment, everyone. All right, my apologies about that. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, let's upgrade you. Normal ball, let's go ahead, get a roll in. Mm-hmm. Put a bed in. Big ball. Boom. 
let's upgrade the large ball twice and get a normal ball upgraded. Big. Uh, let's get... I can't do any of it? Oh, really? Okay, I, I guess it's just either black or red. So let's go red. Uh, scar, discard. I want to get my... I want to get my big ball. Come on. Screw it. Okay. Uh, large ball. Cannot win the same bet multiple times. Bet on red or black pockets. Gain 10 chips per ability level. Okay. That's fair. <clears throat> Ooh, cold wind. Mega bet on red. And one on black. Okay. Huge ball. I wonder if I can get that ball even larger. Again, token clone because I want that large ball. And a quest. Um, four, four rounds of only spinning the wheel once. The first ball is rolled three times. Change three tokens normal bet into ice bet upon pickup. Clear three rounds while having 24 pockets frozen. Oh god. Without using discard. That's it. That that lo that one seems just easy. So, highest level token is not used for a round. Gain fifteen percent more score permanently. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that one right away. Bet on black. Exactly 2,500. Okay. Uh, winning, or when winning a even slash odd bet, plus 10 points. Plus 20 chips per number with both red and black pockets. I want this, and all ready right away with the large ball. Forty by forty. Large ball again. Thank you. Yes, your loan. Large ball can earn ships from the same bet in different pockets as 50% value. Uh huh. Upgrade the ability of a bet.
Hmm. Actually, no. No, never mind. Actually, yeah, I want it. I want it. Uh, do a nor do normal. Do normal. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, normal ball, let's go. And that went... No, no. It... Now this will win. Yes. Yes. Um, ability of the ball. Let's do... Do I? Mm. Give me the Super Ball instead. And two coins to upgrade said Super Ball for the chip. Outrage. Every time you use a token, tokens are shuffled. I want to say something, but I don't want to. Remove a token from the deck. Let it be the normal ball. One less ball to deal with. Upgrade those chips. Discard it. That too. Super. This is gonna get big. Mmm, big. Yes. Big money. Big, big money. Mmm, big money. Super Ball. And... Now that'll be it. Yes, thank you. Big money, big money, big money. Big money. Mmm, that big bet. Maha. Maha. Oh my god, Maha. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh. That. Oh man. <clears throat> Oop. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> Swear trying clicking off to my other uh, monitor and it does this. Uh, if Large Ball earns chips from at least two bets, that does not affect the same pocket at all. Gain 80 points. Do a barrel reroll. Gain one point permanently when rerolling from at the shop. Love it. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> um... Thank you. Make that large ball too. I will take that and make the normal ball wave ball. Yes, I know what you do. Go black. And red. Change it. Oh, damn. Again, again, again. Honestly, I'll take the steak razor. I don't care. I haven't removed a single chip or a single pocket. I don't plan on it. Make the wave ball gold color. That way it can have some kind of use. Super Ball, let's go. Let's go, Super Ball! Let's go! Oh! 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 Gimme. Make the normal ball a repeat ball. King me. I 
I think I found something completely broken. Oh my god. Bet ability. Upgrade the gold. Strong claw. I don't care, make that gold. Dispenser. Dispenser. My dispenser. Add at the start of next round, add the normal version of same bet with different value. Six chips permanently when changing pockets at the shop. But I don't want to. I will just upgrade. Large ball. Damn. God damn. That's a huge ball. <laughs> Shit. Perk unlock. For now, I'm talking perks appear in the shop. Still got me the win. <clears throat> times three pockets. From now on, times three pockets appear in the shop. God damn. 
Oh, shit. That fucked me over. Yep. Oh, my God. I... I should have stuck with one of the repeat balls. Oh, man. I should have done repeat. I should have done repeat. Mm. Anyways, that is going to call things here. This is a really fun and addicting game. Even though that... Hang on. Let me see. When did this game come out? I'm, I know this was recent. I know that. Let me actually see. This came out in March 18th. And Bellatro came out when? Uh, let me check on that. February 20th. A whole month in two days. And even though it's trying to be a Bellatro clone, it's still pretty good. Not gonna lie. Especially when getting quite the updates as well and patch notes it really is quite an interesting one <laughs> like no joke this is pretty fun ah oh, man i i do recommend playing both Bellatro and bingle bingle because they are quite fun but if you would love to see more, please do remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, know when my next video comes out, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.